Hello and welcome to the Phone Burner Training. This is the Don't Be Complicated Training Series and I am your host, Jeff Osnes. If you want to reach out to me, send me an email, jeff at phoneburner.com and I'll be happy to help out any way I can. Now today's topic, we're going to talk about follow-ups using Phone Burner. Okay, so when you're using your phone burner account, undoubtedly, when you're making calls, you're going to run into situations where you need to follow up with people later on. Call me back today. Call me back tomorrow. Call me back in three weeks. Hey, it was great talking to you. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk again tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So you're going to have lots of different uh, potential follow-up situations. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you about how to manage your follow-ups. So let's jump into this. First, let's go to the Contacts tab. When you're looking at a list of contacts, you can always select a contact, click Add Event. That will bring up your calendar, and then you can schedule an appointment with that contact. In addition to that, if we go into a contact record, we can also add an event here. Now these types of events are for specific follow-up appointments that you have with a contact. Now, in addition to a specific appointment like, hey, give me a call back tomorrow, at 7 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Um, you might have people who say, hey, give me a call back in two weeks. Now that's not something I would necessarily want on my calendar. I do want to track that. So what I would do is I would create a custom field called follow-up. And here you can see a list of all of my different custom fields. And I've got one called follow-up. If I click to edit that, you'll see it is a date selector. And so I can choose a follow-up date and save that. Now that becomes a searchable item that I can use in my contact manager on the 12th to follow up with that contact. Now this is all great when we're just sitting here looking at a contact, but what about in a dial session? Let's talk about that real quick. Let's go back. I'm going to select my sample contacts here and begin a dial session. Now I've gone ahead and got connected to a dial session and so I'm going to hit start dialing. That'll start calling my first contact. So let's say we connect to the contact. We have our conversation, and then we end our call. So great call, good, good conversation with our contact, and let's say this particular contact, we scheduled a specific follow-up appointment at a specific date and a specific time. For this, I would go to the Actions menu right here, click on Actions, then I'd go to Schedule Follow-up, and that's going to bring up my calendar. Let me make it a little bit larger here where I can go in and add an event, schedule a specific date and time, and then I can save that. Now let's say it was not a specific date and time, it's just some date in the future. What I would do here is I'd go to my custom fields section, and in the custom fields, here you can go to your follow-up date, choose the specific follow-up date, it auto-saves, so there's no buttons to save here, and then I could even create a button in my disposition set, my live answer disposition set, I can create a follow-up button that will actually change the status of this contact as someone that I need to follow up with. That way I can use that for searching and sorting and removing contacts from specific other lists. So I'm going to go ahead and tag this contact as follow-up and then I'm moving on to the next call. I'm going to go ahead and end this session. And so now that we've got this data, we can use this data for any searching down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the advanced search menu right here. So I think we set that to the 13th or something like that, right? So if we come down here in the advanced search to our custom fields, we can find our follow-up date custom field right here, follow-up. We can choose our 13th, July 13th, change it to on because we want to find everybody that has a follow-up date on July 13th search and then hit the search button that'll give us a list of all of those contacts that qualify and then we can begin a dial session. In addition to that we can also come in here and say you know what maybe I don't just want everybody that's on the 13th I want to find everybody that is before a specific date after a specific date or a certain number of days ago or before X days ago or after X days ago or between a specific date range. Maybe I want to find everybody that I have a follow-up date between the 14th of July and, I don't know, August 1st of 2015. I can do that. I hit search 
and that'll give me a list of all of those contacts that qualify for that search criteria. And remember how we had a status? We use the status. So the status can also be something that we use for searching or making sure that we avoid people that have a follow-up status when we're creating other lists. Because when you mark somebody with a status of follow-up, that becomes a searchable phone burner status that we can either include or exclude from any phone burner searches. So those are a couple examples of how I would recommend scheduling or setting up follow-up appointments with your contacts when you're making calls or outside of a dial session. Now once again, our phone burner pricing, we have two account levels. We have our unlimited account, which is $149 a month, and our 7.5 hour account, which is $67.50 a month. Now, of course, if you are a team, we do offer discounts. So the more seats you have, the more money you'll save. Here you can see where the price breaks are, but we can set up any number of seats. So just let us know what we can do for you, and we'll help you get set up. If you have any questions, reach out to me. And if you have not set up your free phone burner trial, you need to go to phoneburner.biz now and set up your free no credit card trial today. And happy dialing.